Greetings to all you exquisitely inquisitive ladies, gentlemen, and scholars, and welcome to Physics in the News with J. Allen. Newly devised methods of observing this realities, perplexing mysteries continue to propel at breakneck precipitancy. We now are seeing promising success in shrinking particle accelerators down to fun snack size. Soon, the days of the city-sized billion-dollar particle colliders will be a thing of the past, and every lady, gentleman, lad, and lass will have their very own particle collider, that they may explore the vast wonders of the composite stratum of the cosmos. This work comes to us from a junior research group led by Andreas R. Mayer, located at the Center for Free Electron Major Science, or CFEL. Their efforts appertain to the propitious technology of the so-called plasma wakefield acceleration. With this, they have constructed the first electron beam, which is believed to be the device that shall pave the way to the future compact size, yet more powerful accelerators. In their first test run, the group was able to propel electrons to approximately 400 mega electron volts through the use of a plasma cell a few millimeters in length. Experimental facility this work is being developed at is known as Lux and operates in collaboration with the University of Hamburg. Through this plasma wakefield acceleration device, an electrically charged state of matter known as plasma propagates a wave. Then there is a narrow capillary tube interpolated by this newly formed wave. And here we have Andy Maguire to explain more. Lux uses a laser with the power of 200 terawatts, which fires ultra-short pulses of laser light into the hydrogen gas. Yes, from what I gather, each of these pulses consists of a mere 30 quadrillionth of a second, 30 femtoseconds at B. From this point, it seems to flash its way straight away through the, through the gas in the semblance of a of a scanty discoid. These pulses of light themselves are merely hundreds of millimeters long and 35 thousandths millimeters high. They snatch the electrons from the hydrogen molecule just as a snowplow sweeps aside snow, collect in the wake of the light pulse, and are accelerated by the positively charged plasma wave in front of them, much like a wakeboarder riding the stone wave of a boat. <laughs> early stages of development, but as it is able to produce 1,000 times the acceleration of conventional accelerators, it will allow us to build far more compact accelerators for future applications in fundamental research and in medicine. Fantastic! This is most exciting work you and your team are producing, and I look forward to the wonderful things ahead for you. Isn't that delightful? In other news, apparently time travel has been ruined for everyone thanks to a pear-shaped nucleus. I had considered running a full report on this matter, but I was happy to discover that others had already gotten around to it, so I will post a link in the description below of one video that I had personally seen. Plus, we do have another guest here today to provide his expertise on the matter. Doctor, what do you make of this pear-shaped nucleus that single-handedly destroyed the hopes and dreams of millions? But it's absolute card swallow, isn't it? So, does that mean that you're denying the validity of this research? Well, uh, I won't interfere in the progress of humanity, but I uh, will. Yeah. And so, you're exclusively hearing it here first, ladies and gentlemen. The doctor disparages the have shaped nucleus research. And that concludes this episode of Physics in the News. If it please do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and use it to share the consistently occurring, awe-inspiring discoveries pertaining to the fundamental constructs of reality.